Justice, a pleasure to have you on. How are you? I'm doing amazing. Thank you. Great to be here. I am so excited to have you on. I, oh my goodness, last night, just the things that were channeled to me and it gave me all the questions to ask you. So I'm so delighted to have you. So as an indigo soul, can you share your realization of this and how you are here to empower others? Share your story. Yeah. Um, to be honest, a lot of people ask me this. It's kind of good that you're interviewing me because, you know, other people can 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 watch the video. But to be honest with you, it, it's there's really no human words for it, you know, because the way me describing it, it doesn't even scratch the surface of of the real experience you know it, it could really only be felt you know it can't really be told but uh you know i'll try to tell it the best i can but i realized after i went through this literal uh metamorphosis um i literally merged with that higher version of myself um you know and i went into an intense um research phase so when this all happened, I was literally guided by my spirit team, which I found out is the Lyran Syrian Council, who oversee evolution on planets and solar systems and galaxies. And, you know, um, the, the material I found just confirmed already what I was receiving. So the, the way it all happened was just divinely orchestrated the downloads, the activations, uh, the, the intensity. So it's like, it was literally like the old me died. The old energy literally left. And my, my justice had to uh, go through a period of acclimating that new higher energy within this, <laughs> you know, within this vessel. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot, but I, I literally connected with the earth. I accessed the Akashic records, um, you, you know, uh, some of my past lives and, and it's still continuing and continuing, you know, I'm always, we're always evolving and expanding. When you started getting all these different downloads, like Akashic records, did it all come with time or did it just all come at you at once? Well, a lot of it came flooding in at once, but it was it, it was like I had to do the work also. So it was like um, my higher self was leading me to each um, breadcrumb, got one, it, one one piece at a time. What I was ready for, but it was it was quick. I wouldn't be activated if I was just going to hold it within. It's meant to be shared. It's meant to be transmitted, and that's a big part of my mission, along with many other things, is transmitting these higher frequencies to the, to the collective and activating them. And, you know, if I could explain it when I was, when I was young, you know, I was, you know, raised in an Italian family, Catholic, but they never really pushed religion on me. Thank God. But, you know, we went, we did, I received my uh, communion and whatever. And that was, that was about it. They didn't really force us, but my, you know, it was always in the family and you know, the Bible and the rosary beads and all this stuff, but um, it, it never made sense to me. It never made sense, you know, looking at Jesus, even when I was a kid, I'm like, if I died, would my mom put me how I was sacrificed on a cross and hang me on the wall? Like, no, that don't make mm. sense. <laughs> you know? But um, so what I was getting at is that all the questions I, you know, yearn to, 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 to seek and find out I I've attained. And that's just mind blowing because, you know, we grow up thinking, oh, well, it's heaven or hell. And, you know, it's just this lifetime. And, you know, we'll find out the answers when we die. And, you know, we don't know anything. We're not meant to know anything now. You know, when we die, we'll find out. Well, you don't have to die to find out, <laughs> you know, and, and I, I was blessed with that activation and I know since by going through the process of ascension and doing this and going through the, the earth game and living the 3D life, you know, now I'm, I did it, you know, I played the game, I did the 3D thing. So now I, I'm just a very well versed and I have the ability to relate to, to, to many different humans in 3D 
since I lived through it. And now since I've ascended consciously, I could take in those higher frequencies and translate it into a relatable, um, receivable package where they can, they can retain it. I think I'm really good at breaking it down and making it under very simple, you know, very, very simple to understand in order to just inspire and, and activate people. I am extremely grateful. Such and, a blessing uh, for you. Yeah. Yeah. We are in the middle of ascension, meaning we are in a whole new paradigm. Can you explain that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, the whole planet is ascending um, as well as humans. And it's, it's actually, it's a lot because it's a lot of information that has been hidden from us. You know, that's why I say, I mean, we're in the middle of ascension and, and, you know, probably more than half the planet don't even realize. So, um, but what it is, is that if I could break it down simple, um, you know, our solar system, all our planets rotate around our, our sun, but not only do our planets rotate around our sun, but our whole uh, solar system rotates and moves throughout our galaxy. So we're, that's what, that's where you get the ages, you know, the different ages, right? So we're actually in a whole new time space. We're actually in a whole new position in our galaxy. And that's what you call, you know, that's how they get the, um, they call them the yuga cycles. Uh, the Mayans, you know, pr predicted a, a lot of it. And, um, you know, they have the, what is it? The, the, the bronze age, the silver age, the gold age, whatever. I, I might've missed one, but, um, so it's just cycles of, of light and dark cycles of ascending consciousness and descending consciousness. And the, the, the reason why that happens is that, when when our solar system moves through our galaxy we align with other suns so we have other suns you know they lied to us like we just have one sun we have many other suns we have another sun that we're aligning with with uh, a sister sun alcyone and then sirius and so that's why if you look at the sun the sun is changing it's different colors and all that because we're we're receiving higher energies from those suns so everything is aligning we've rotated through the dark age and how 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 the gold age you know happens is that we move into a higher frequency light because we're moving closer to those suns and we align not only do we align with those suns but we align with our galactic center so it's it's all aligned so we move into this high photon uh they call it a photon belt of light uh, 2000 years of light where consciousness comes back to man and, and, and humanity and all beings on the planet. So, you know, that's where you get the dark ages when we cycle through that. And then we move away from the galactic center and those suns, well, it gets darker and we get further away from those higher frequency energies. So consciousness drops. Mm -hmm. That's why you have like in the medieval times, you know, that just, it, it barbaric you know chopping people's heads off and stuff like this it's mm -hmm. like you know we go through these dark ages where we you know where ascent it's we're in the middle of an ascension cycle that's what it is it's a stellar activation cycle stellar meaning stellar bodies activating us you know it's just like we, we mimic everything it's literally macro to my to, 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 to micro like we're literally like a planet you know, Earth is a living, uh, breathing being like we are. It has a soul. Um, you know, we we weren't taught this, but we're literally like the molecules of the planet. Um, but we're designed the same way. You know, we have all these chakras and energy centers. Uh, so so does the Earth, and that mimics and reflects out into our galaxy and universe as well. Um, and, and that's what I teach is, is, is all about our DNA. What it, what it comes down to is, is DNA. So when we approach the light, the sun is, is God source energy, life force energy. It actually activates our dormant DNA. And that's actually what awakens us. So the trigger is the sun because we were, we, we have 12 strands of DNA. 
You know, I always tell I people, was just going to ask you that. Yes. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you know, I, I mean, even when I was wasn't totally awake, I, I think I was in high school in ninth grade and I, I, I used to doodle. I, I never paid attention in school. I hated it. But, you know, my eyes lit up when she mentioned DNA, 12 strand DNA for some reason. And I, I popped up and she goes, yeah, but the other 10 is junk. And I kind of laughed and she's like, what's so funny? I'm mm. like, you say the other 10 was junk. She says, yeah. And I, and, you know, and everyone, the, you know, the classmates looked at me and I said, oh, never mind. So, and, and that, so that's when I realized that we were dumbed down superheroes, you know, when mm. I was, because even when I was born here, I was just kind of irritated with this body. Like I was used to like being able to like, just instantly manifest and change my reality and everything was just very slow here and very slow energy um but yeah so our dormant dna is literally activating uh we were born in the in a 3d vibration so we were most humans were operating on two to three strands of dna uh, indigos come in with six to seven already in pl already in place not necessarily activated but um you know, when we pass those life lessons and transmute the karma, um, you know, it, it could be past life karma, this life, um, and clear all the density, then we then we activate. You know, you, you can't activate if you don't do the shadow work and remove the darkness, because it's like, um, it's like an operating system. If you're running, say, an old Windows program, for example, um, you can't install a new software um, in an old operating system. You have to remove the old programs, you know, all this indoctrination and programs, remove it, uninstall it, you know, remove everything that we are not, all the false layers, everything uh, to, to then be able to install and, and download these new higher frequencies, these light codes. And speaking of the 12 strands, can you further explain the 12 strands DNA energy center, 12 dimensions that exist in our time matrix and how we are meant to connect to all of those? Yes, yes. <clears throat> well, our, our full angelic um, human blueprint is 12 strand DNA. You know, like I was saying, we originally had 12 planets. Um, you know, some of them were destroyed in wars and stuff like that, but they don't talk about that. But 12 planets, um, 12 chakras, 12 strands of DNA, 12 dimensions, uh, 12, 12 zodiacs, everything is 12, 12, 12. It's like the base number of creation and that multiplies. So everything's the base number of creation is 12. So we're designed the same way. So is our universe. So uh, we actually live inside of a, a 15 dimensional time matrix. So it's actually 15 dimensions, but 12 of them are like physical experiences, like matter forms. But obviously the higher in dimension you go, the less dense we become and the more light we become because, you know, God is, is not a, um, you know, uh, a man with a white beard floating on a cloud. It's nothing sort of a human. It's actually comprised of the mother, the father and the son. And it's the blue flame, which is the mother, the gold flame, the sun and the, and the violet uh, is the father. It's called the threefold founder flame, the cosmic Trinity. And going back to when I was like, when I said I was raised in Catholic and most of the world, they always talk about the father, the father, God is a, he people say, Oh God, he, well, you know, they, they left out the mother. And that's why mm -hmm. this planet is inverted and reversed because we've been infiltrated and invaded by negative aliens, <laughs> uh, unfortunately for, and they've been controlling us for thousands of years, but as the light comes, they, you know, they either have to leave or, or just, they can't live here anymore. But, um, so yeah, that's, um, that's literally God source energy. And that's our mission is actually for ourselves is to balance the masculine, the divine masculine and divine feminine within our, within ourselves. Um, but the, the, the mother is returning, um, back to the planet, therefore bringing balance to, to everything, uh, because the, the, the mother, um, due to the negative alien, uh, infiltration and everything. They're very smart. They're master manipulators. They actually know creation. They're very, um, some of these dark beings go all the way up to the 11th 
11.5 dimension, but they're actually, mm. their 12th strand of DNA is actually destroyed. So they can't ascend out of this matrix. So they, they need to survive like all beings, but they survive on us, on other beings, on other worlds, other universes. We, we fell, we, we came from Tara, uh, just like we have these 12 strands of DNA and 12 chakras. Well, earth exists in these higher densities as well, just as you and I, and all humans, we actually have higher identities on all of these dimensions. Would you explain that as layers when you speak of yeah. the earth? Cause I was just talking with someone and we were discussing that. Yeah, it, it's, it's, I, I, it's almost like, it's like an onion, you know, like think of earth, um, 3d, uh, vibration, um, in the middle. And then you have all these layers out. So everything is happening simultaneously. You know, time isn't really linear. It's all quantum, but it's happening at different bandwidths and frequencies. So like your higher self exists in the fifth dimension, right? Assists you here. It can consciously, but we can't, uh, for example, we can't see them because they're, they're operating at a higher vibrational frequency bandwidth. And so really, I mean, if you and I were in the fifth dimension and looking at each other, we would just be real, just as real as it is you and I speaking now, mm -hmm. but, but, you know, it just, you know, and, and so if you're in the fifth, seventh dimension, you can see all dimensions below, but you can't see above. And it all goes wow. by the amount of DNA you have activated. Um, so that's all coming back online, but, um, but like, it's a, it's a lot of lost history. It's a lot, you know, it's like, that's why it just never ends. We've been so much of, has been manipulated and hidden from us during the dark ages and everything. And, you know, as we come back around to the light, all the truths um, resurface as well. There, nothing can be destroyed because we are the living records. We are the living library as well as the earth. So a lot of this, most of this information literally just comes from my, my DNA, uh, because we all have, we, we literally all have this ability. So, um, you know, if, if you activate your throat chakra, um, for example, you can connect to that fifth dimension intelligence field of reality. You don't have to leave the planet to, to, to have that perspective now. So that's what it is. There's beings on the planet, literally in a box in 3D, because 3D experience is unconscious. It is like the first three chakras. It's literally like uh, food, sex, and survival. It's mm. literally like <laughs> mammals. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so now we're, we're, we're moving actually to the second harmonic universe so earth has a higher version it's called tara so we're we're moving back there where we fell from right so that that whole game is 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 based on um this the third set of chakras above the first three so that's the fourth chakra which is the heart the throat and then the third eye so now in the future humans are going to be operating on these higher chakras now we're not going to be in this survival mode and, and you know, uh, dying and mutating and all this. Now that you stated the fourth, um, the heart chakra, I was going to ask you, we are moving into the fourth dimension, which deals with our heart chakra. It is forcing the heart chakra to open and heal ourselves in dealing with our shadows and demons. Can you share more of your knowledge on this? Yeah, yeah, it's amazing time. So like you said, we're, we're literally the vibration of earth. It's we're no longer in 3d. The whole vibration of earth is increasing, moving to a higher dimension. And like I said, we're the molecules of earth. So if it's vibrating, you know, higher, then we have to vibrate higher. We move with the earth and ascend. Everyone evolves at different rates. So think about earth, like a ship just ascending into a higher dimension if the earth is vibrating to the fourth dimension well then that's our fourth chakra so it's forcing humans heart chakras open for the first time that's where they start to see the darkness within themselves 
um, they start to wake up because they, they they're moving to a higher dimension within their DNA fourth strain of DNA is activating and their heart these are all energy centers um, so now that energy center is pulling in higher uh, frequency light therefore their perspective is changing and then you go through the dark night of the soul because when your heart chakra opens you learn to feel again and you connect back to your soul mm -hmm. and that's why a lot of a lot of humans they don't have discernment i actually made a video about this but um when you connect back to your soul right the heart center is like our, our superpower because then you learn how to feel again you know that's what society was designed to like desensitize us with all these messed up movies and everything it was all designed to keep us desensitized and to stop us from activating our heart chakra to keep us stuck in this third density on the, on a prison planet and to keep it low we've actually been frequency controlled by many other methods as well the, these beings are master manipulators mm -hmm. and that's that's what i uh, expose a lot because uh you know i'm a light warrior and and light warriors actually shine the light on the darkness because you, there's a lot of spiritual bypassers out there where they just want to focus on the rainbows and butterflies like that doesn't mean don't stay positive and don't visualize heaven on earth every day but you, you you know we're in the middle of a spiritual war we've been enslaved for thousands upon thousands of years we have to become aware of the darkness you actually have to learn the darkness and learn how to protect yourself and learn and know the darkness just as much as the light if you want to ascend for sure and, and that's what facing the shadows and going through the dark night of the soul humanity is being forced to do that if you're moving forward and evolving you're activating your heart chakra and everyone's going through it at different rates. And that's why there's going to have to be a lot of people, you know, healing, you know, the, the, the planet needs to be healed. Um, and, you know, that's what we're here for. We're, he we're here to assist. And, uh, you know, we all have our own unique skills and we're, we all help the whole, you know, but um, but yeah, the heart chakra is very important. And, and it's not like we have to, you know, take years to like move there. So as the planet ascends, we ascend with her. And, you know, like Dolores Cannon says, she she said, you know, this is a classroom. This is a game. I was shown it's literally a game. That's why I posted your <laughs> because that was <laughs> it's <perfect>. so true. Uh -huh. <laughs> but um you know, it's a game that our souls want to come down because we come from the heavens. We all do. We come from the stars. You know, humans, we didn't grow out of the dirt here. You know, we all come from from the stars. We're actually all ETs. We've just been lied to since birth. We're, we're floating in the middle of the uh, infinite multiverse. You know, Earth is literally uh, like a speck of sand inside of it but anyway we're quantum leaping that's why i always speak about quantum leaping because if if we were born in the 3d 3d vibration it was like kind of staying still like our whole lives you know and our you know and our parents and our grandparents and generations it was just this low frequency for a long long time now we're literally now it's no longer like 3d like this we're shooting up so we're moving a 4d and eventually 5d um and so it's it's happening very very fast um so it all depends you know people are like well when is it going to happen and this and that like um it depends on on the humans it depends on the collective consciousness really the probabilities it it, it depends on us people could stay in 4d for a couple hundred years i mean however long it takes them like you know what i mean but like i said if the earth is moving to 5d you have to match that vibration you know and i i think a lot of people are but everyone's evolving at different rates but it's definitely for everyone's going to move into 4d and 5d but um there are mm -hmm. you know advanced avatars and indigos who come who who are activating higher strands of dna when i had my um activation my galactivation my my quickening i call it it's like i die i was i was able to see through the veil it was like i i didn't have to die but now since i activated my dna i could see from those higher dimensions so i i can 
I'm connected through through the veil. So you 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 know what goes on above. It's interesting you, know? you also mentioned the throat chakra when you activate that. Like for myself, activating this, even starting the podcast, so many things are oh, working yeah. through me now. Like I, I do an angelic healing. So I'm just sensing so much and seeing like if I'm they're right with me. So oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's that's the key too. The the more you speak, the more you activate yourself because you're like I mm -hmm. said, you know, we're, we're energy. We're not supposed to, you know, hold on to energy. We're supposed to, you know, just let it flow. It's like I said, we're literally like a planet, like a sun. We have an auric field, an aura, right? And it's our it's our energy field. And through this um 3D experience, low vibration. It, it like diminishes. So it's like, you know, like how earth has like an atmosphere and a protective layer. So like planets just don't come in and meteors just don't come in and ruin it. Right. So we, we have that as well, but the lower frequency, the more like uh, rips and tears in our auric field and it's open. So people could become possessed very easy they could become mind controlled very easy, manipulated very easy. And, you know, it's like I always say, you know, they taught us that this is just the physical world. So we're just walking around like bait to these higher, um, you know, we have light and dark, but the dark manipulates humans down here. And it was all about like choosing the light, right? The devil on one shoulder, <laughs> the angel on the other, like mm -hmm. in every situation, you know, we all have free will to choose. But, um, you know, it, we, we, we live in a spiritual world. So um, the best thing is, is to learn how to protect your energy and to, to raise your frequency to repair this, your auric field, your aura again, and make it strong so that nothing can, you know, uh, manipulate you and, and penetrate you. And that happens through, through the heart chakra, the discernment comes in where you start to feel because you have to activate the heart chakra because now you'll, you'll, everyone has to go through it on their own. It's literally a training process. I was just going to ask that with discernment and the heart chakra, how yeah. can we, so many people are so disconnected. Yeah. Yeah. Well, once they open their heart chakra, um, then they, then they start to feel, and then you'll feel, you'll be like, oh man, I feel dark. What's going on. Then you call in the light. Like, no, I just, there's no certain way to do it. You know, I would just call in the light. I would call in my spirit guides. I would visualize me, you know, wrapped in God source energy, blue ray, white diamond light. Um, I would literally visualize it. I'm super like visualist, you know, visual. Same so here. Like, mm -hmm. We we literally have that power because our thoughts are literally just as real as you and I. That's, that's, you know, if, if you command that, if you speak that, so it's all about like commanding your space, learning how to clear your space. So like, for example, like, I'm sure, you know, like selenite is really good for clearing, right? Um, black tourmaline here, I was guided to. So these, these are tools. These I'm are so amazing. glad you're doing this. Mm -hmm. Like black tourmaline. I, I make pendants. So, so my in, ring. <laughs> there you go. In the beginning, you know, I was, I bought this big chunk of black tourmaline because when you first wake up the, the lower astral entities and um, you know, the, the, you know, the darker forces, they, they don't want you to wake up because they live off of us physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, mm -hmm. you know? And um, so when you first wake up, they're very present. And then that's the training process of like how to become a spiritual warrior. Unfortunately, we all have to become our own spiritual warriors, you know, to get through this, this darkness, but that's what makes you, um, that's how you actually learn about energy, how to read energy, uh, how to feel it, uh, what, how to literally you learn that your energy, you learn how to protect your energy, you learn how to um, connect properly, you, you, you learn how to command your space. Um, um, don't you, you know, even see other individuals? Yes. And don't you see other individuals so differently as well? Yeah. Yeah. You know, because now you're, you're, you're connecting on a soul level on an energetic level now, you know, 
which is which is good. You know, I, I was like that my whole life and I always had to like retract. And I wonder why, you know, when I went to start speaking deep or tried to connect with people, they got, they got all weirded out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I'm just like this powerful, like love and, you know, and connect. I'm always trying, you know, connecting with people and it made a lot of people like uncomfortable when I would start to speak. But now is an amazing time because we could be our true authentic selves because now the energy is actually catching up to us. So we were the light in the distorted um, dark reality. So now it's actually changing. So as we're speaking on the light, we are here to get to the light is destroying our ego through the dark night of the soul. A part of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's gonna it's gonna be destroyed yeah yeah mine was so yeah it was it's it's like a death process literally you know it's it's not easy but you go through this this like i said literally the old energy leaves you know if i i wouldn't be having this conversation you know with the old me um so our, you know, we go through the dark night of the soul, it it will, excuse me, it will destroy your ego. Um, but once you destroy your ego, then you align back with soul, with your soul. Mm. Because the ego keeps you running around. The ego is mine. The ego is what you think you are, who you think you are, based on this fake illusion that we're living in. You know, your whole reality, literally, it's like a wrecking ball and your whole reality um, dismantles. You like, it's it's a lot, you know, and that's why, why that's why we're here, you know, but um, you, you realize that you've been, been bamboozled, you've been lied to. Um, and, you know, it's just, it's just a whole metamorphosis. Can you share for yourself what it is to ascend ascend consciously and can you further navigate others yeah it's it's literally like upgrading your consciousness awareness operating system if i could use a, a metaphor so like say we were born with a certain perspective how we view the world right when you ascend and activate your dna and your chakras which correlate to the dimensions you literally quantum leap thousands of years to a higher dimension to a higher version you merge with the higher version of yourself steps in the way you perceive the world is closer to god's eyes if i could mm. say so the, the the higher we move in dimensions the closer we get to god's source energy so beautiful so you know that's what it is literally um your whole view your, your whole observation of what you think you are, of how you view the, the world. It's like you just, it's like you zoom out. It's like you're freed. You're like, oh my God, that's where I was. You, you literally, mm. you know, it's like, it's like if we were walking through the woods in 3D, we didn't know what was behind the trees. We just had to keep walking until we got there. And then we saw, well, activating your dna your perspective awareness your consciousness upgrading it it's like you're just that ego flying above you see for miles way mm. you know it's just this vast this this bigger perspective and um observer point because really the who is the observer who is your observer who is it's it's all god we're all sparks of god observing itself and uh, you know so this whole 15 dimensional time matrix god created to experience itself through all of its creations so even the dark is god even the you know even the bad you know it's it's all god and mm. it's all simulations i'm not trying to dumb it down but it is you know we, that's why you know these yogis they've always spoke about that you know this world is an illusion because really the only real thing is the light that we are you yes. know, these bodies, mm -hmm. these bodies, they come and they go. Obviously, we honor them and we we treat them like a, a temple, like we should. But 
we are the energy that animates these physical experiences. And um, that energy is God, consciousness, which is light. So beautifully said. I went through it very fast and, and I had to go through it alone and figure it all out, all the answers and everything where I could help someone. I mean, I empower them to find it. I, I just guide them because everyone has to find it themselves. They can't be told. So what I do is I literally just assist. I assist them in their healing journey and their awakening journey and helping them ascend, you know, guiding them, ascension guide. So ascending from this prison, so many are going through. How does bringing awareness to one's shadows impact us? Well, the, the more shadows um, you face and transmute, meaning transmute darkness back into light, the more light you become. So you empower yourself by facing your demons, by healing yourself. So healing is, is activating. Healing is freeing yourself. Um, that's why people stay trapped, because they don't want to well, they're not ready and they don't want to face, they, they have a lot of trauma, you know? Um, and, you know, we, we've we all lived uh, different lives. Many of us have been in Atlantis and Lemuria before, and we were in the cataclysms and floods, and we were in all these dark times and all these games and experiences. And a lot of these things, if they're not healed, they they stay with us. And it's all about clearing these all these, all these, all this karma and transmuting it. Mm -hmm. um, but not only that, we actually have assistance though. We have assistance because these, these energies are being sent back onto the planet to assist us in doing this. That's why it's happening very rapidly and fast. It's not like we don't have assistance. We literally have assistance from the highest of high, the heavenly realms, the Christ light has literally returned back to the planet. So people like, is Jesus returning? Uh, the Christ is light. It already has. It's here mm. for us, waiting for us to step into it and to, you know, do what we have to do, heal ourselves and, and activate ourselves. Um, but the, all the keys are, are literally in our, in our DNA. We have all the answers and like, we're not really we're not learning. We're just remembering because if we have 12 strands of DNA already, that's Christ. That's full of angelic. We, we already, you know that. So those are just plugging in and coming back online. So when they activate, we're remembering. Mm. Like I said, the 12th dimension is the pure Christ light. That's where, I mean, like I said, these dark beings can go up to the 11th dimension. 12D is the pure Christ light. So for example, Christ in, um, in Greek is Christos, which means the anointed one. So Jesus attained and activated his 12 strand DNA and connected to the, the 12th dimensional um, frequency of, 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 of light, which is the Christ light. So he embodied that. Therefore they called him the Christ. So, you know, he was, Jesus was the prequel of ascension. He, he ascended. He didn't, he wasn't crucified on, on a cross. That's actually a negative alien reptilian implant that actually crucified all of humanity, literally crucified all of us. It was the biggest mockery. The one man, the one being who actually embodied the light of the Christ, they took him. It wasn't him, but they made everyone think. And it was like, oh, that's the end of Christ consciousness for humanity. Mm. And then we all just started following the reptilian uh, religion and all this. That's what crucified all of us. Um, you know, we you know we don't drink the wine of his blood and eat the body. That's cannibalism. This is reptilian sacrifice. This is the Antichrist. You know, and all of all of the records and ancient texts were destroyed. And religion is a man-made, well, reptilian uh, man-made construct. Uh, created to enslave 
and separate and stop humans from ascending period because there's a savior outside of yourself they they don't know how to connect to the light they know nothing about activating themselves it's very disempowering and it keeps you stuck as by design on on the planet um can i but, just uh, ask how can we protect ourselves from that manipulation yeah yeah i i actually do my i started i was called to do these ascension live ascension group chats just like we're chatting and i have a lot of people up there and um yeah there's there's a lot of different methods but that's the most important thing is is you want to protect yourself because especially right now there's a lot of mind control going on through the satellites through the oh yeah it, mm -hmm. it goes very very deep energies at the moment is there anything you have for us to wake us up what can i say <laughs> what can i say um <laughs> it's, it's well i love waking people up actually i enjoy it i love um shattering people's realities unfortunately many realities have to be shattered, shattered, dreams, shattered dreams. to wake up of course you know waking up isn't necessarily uh you know a fun thing once you get past the clearing and the darkness and the shadows it levels out a little bit and then that's where you step into your power um and and you align to a higher literally timeline uh for your life so what i would say is just it's all inside of us i've experienced it and like i said i'm still ascending and evolving it it never ends but I'm I'm living proof that I feel it. It's activated within my DNA. I see the world with new eyes. I I, I feel I feel different. I see different. Um, everything is changing, and this is real. It's ha actually happening to millions of people. And my advice is just to detach from the matrix because the matrix was designed to keep you stuck. It's not the matrix was not designed for you to connect with your soul. So literally, as long as you are distracted and in the hamster wheel, you never have time to to question, to even think about anything besides work, going to sleep, taking a shower, doing it all over again. And, you know, that's the hamster wheel. And that's it's it's that's not God's creation uh, mm -hmm. at all. So, I mean, you know, the lives that we were living we were living artificial lives and that's another uh, topic i talk about is observing it and pick choosing or or your because there's an inorganic timeline and an artificial and an organic timeline playing out and that's you see that happening and being shown to us very quickly just as fast as as we're ascending they're rolling that out because they know they want to connect everyone to technology quick they don't want them mm. ascending so they're like they know this they knew this time was coming that's why you got to be a spiritual warrior um and and activate the heart chakra and use your discernment because they have these dark ones they knew this time was coming so they set up their minions as these light workers they're fake light workers so wow. they make lies to trap you to confuse you to keep you distracted and that's why People are always following this one and this channeler and then this story. That's not how it works. You have to follow yourself. That's it. The, mm. the journey to ascension is going within and following yourself. That's it. You don't need anyone else, you know, because when I went, went searching for God, um, you, you know, I, fi I found myself. And when I found myself, I found God. That's how it works. You know, God is, God is not outside of us, you know, and um, that's obviously another thing that can only be felt, not told, but I share it because it happened to me. But literally, you know, when you, when you, you know, eventually find God, you find yourself because um, you realize it was within you all along. We had the power. Beautiful. Galactivate. <laughs> I think you said it right there. Yeah, Galactivate. Let's love that. People. I mean, Galactivate is we're stepping into a whole new paradigm, a whole new world. Um, the golden age is coming. Um, 
very, very fast. We're quantum leaping into the future. Um, you know, we're going to be able to heal ourselves when we're actually ascending with these bodies. We're actually, our bodies are changing from carbon, this dense matter to eventually lighter. So as your DNA activates, your diet will change. You'll be called to eat different things, lighter things. There's just so many things, but yeah, we're literally turning into superhumans, a, new, a whole new type of human. Awesome. How may our listeners find you? On Instagram, which is Justice Bellucci, at Justice Bellucci. And then I have different pages and links from there, but that's my most popular uh, page. And then I have a YouTube channel, which it's kind of hard to keep up with everything with all of it, you know, but I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I enjoy it. I yeah. know they will too. Any last words? That's about it. I mean, you know, we could talk about Ascension for forever. Obviously, you know, there's so much, but um, I just, you know, want to say thank you for, you know, having me on here and connecting with you. I usually don't do a lot of interviews, but I could already tell you're just like pure light, you know, just like, thank a, you, like an angel, you know, I could just feel the energy. And I watch so appreciate I so appreciate that. Thank you. So. If there is one word for the collective, what would that be? Galactivate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, people. Let's go. Let's Galactivate. go. Well, thank you, Justice. 